Church, right now we have come to the time of water baptism. We're super excited because we have seven awesome people who are getting baptized today, who are saying, I'm unashamed of the gospel of Jesus. I've given my life to him, and they're ready to make that known. Uh, baptism is simply an outward expression of an inward decision to follow Jesus. And right now, we have these seven people who have said that, that I'm following Jesus, and I want everybody to know about it. And right now, just for those of you who don't know what baptism is, baptism is symbolic of our old man dying as we go into the water and our new man coming to life. And so right now, without further ado, we want to go ahead and roll the first clip. Well, my name is Dustin Guest. Uh, I'm from Arkansas. I spent the last 32 years of my life serving on the wrong side of the Lord's kingdom, listening to the wrong voices. The Holy Ghost got a hold of me and led me to this church. And immediately upon arrival, the miracles started happening in this, in this place with these people. And I'm here to rededicate my life to Christ and to follow in his calling and the discipleship that he left us to be. So Dustin, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, sir, I do, and he is. <laughs> and do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Absolutely, and 100%. Amen. I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Chris the Guess. I decided to give my life to God uh, about three months ago. With my husband, we come to this church. The following weekend after I gave my life to God, I was completely healed of a tumor on my tailbone. And I am extremely excited to get baptized Sunday and spread the word of God. So Krista, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey, my name is Jeremy. I moved here uh, two weeks ago. I lived with Paul and Anita. Uh, they kept talking about some guy named uh, Vladimir one Sunday morning, so I decided to finish my beer, check it out. And uh, long story short, at the end of the service, 10 years of anxiety and uh, fear just kind of left. It was crazy, but uh, after that sermon, uh, getting baptized was a no-brainer. I really wanted to, so I'm excited. So, Jeremy, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Can I say hi to my mom? Yes, you can. Hi, mom. <laughs> come on, come on. So, Jeremy, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God? Or, sorry. Do you... <laughs> yeah, you threw me off, man. <laughs> well, based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Milberth, and I was raised in church my whole life. As an adult, I decided to stray away because I had a child right before I graduated high school, and I just felt like I didn't belong. I felt unwanted. I was in an abusive relationship for several years. I'd go back and forth with him, and one day I just decided I didn't want to continue that cycle, and so... I decided to go back to church. I've been here for two months now, and ever since I rededicated my life, I've had no urge of running back to him. And today I want to get baptized to show the whole world that I'm deciding to follow Jesus with all of me. So Milberth, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name's Edgar, and uh, let's just say last year was tough. Got a DUI and got into a lot of debt, and uh, well, this year, starting 2019, I want to get on a different path, and that's why I'm choosing to get baptized this Sunday and to show the world that I'm following Jesus Christ. So Edgar, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. 
based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello, my name is Guich. I've been coming here for a couple of years. Uh, I started suffering from identity crisis and I started backsliding, doing things I shouldn't be doing. But today I want to rededicate my life and give God my all. Guich, this has been a long time coming. Uh, it has been. <laughs> Guich, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Most definitely. <laughs> Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey guys, my name is Brianna, and I've been wanting to get baptized for the past few years now, and I've decided to get baptized to show the world that I'm following Jesus. So Brianna, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him and with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.